I first spoke with Jordan early last year before I became MPP. He shared the story of how he and his wife, Christina, are raising their two lovely daughters, Rachel and Lily, who are both on the autism spectrum. He told me then the system needed substantially more funding because, for one, the needs for many families don't end when their child turns 18. Rachel, his eldest, has benefited from six years of three blocks of ABA programming for social skills development and emotional regulation. Rachel enjoyed it and found it very helpful. Jordan recently told me that he believes Rachel is on a path that will see her live an independent life. Lily, who will be turning four years old this spring, has been on a waiting list for the ABA class called Basic Communication. As of today, they have been waiting a little over a year. For Jordan and Christina, the thought that this government ordered the wait list for ABA Frozen is reprehensible. What gains could Lily have made by now had she begun therapy? Has this government held language back from her? Time to communicate with their precious daughter has been irrevocably lost. But what this government is undertaking is no solution at all. Simply eliminating the wait list and providing families a fraction of the funding they need helps nobody. Jordan and Christina do not want to see publicly funded therapies eliminated and thousands of therapists lost. I don't trust solution, this solution by the government that will see parents receive inadequate and unhelpful assistance. I trust Jordan and Christina, two amazing parents, who state the only path to truly help families is real and expanded funding, period. Thank you, Jordan and Christina, for sharing your story and for your tireless advocacy.